I was on a weight loss journey, a health journey about four or five years ago, and I lost 80 pounds on my own. And I was really good with my food. I was really good with my exercise. And then about a year and a half ago, I opened a cookie store. As much as I thought, this is not going to affect my weight. This is not going to affect my lifestyle. I found myself working 20 hours a day. Over the last year and a half, I've been dying to get back to be that person I was a few years ago. I finally got to a place in my business where I could step away and I could start focusing on myself. It's just been a really good wake-up call for me to focus on myself and to realize that's not selfish. In fact, focusing on myself and my health is going to affect my family long-term, and that's my hope from being here this week. My first idea was that uh, it was going to be a hardcore fitness camp. It was completely the opposite. As soon as you come in, you know, people are kind and they're, they're uplifting and they take your bags to your room. It's like being in a five-star resort with great accommodations, a super comfortable bed, delicious food, friends you never knew you needed or had, and then people just caring about you and your well-being. Everyone knows your name, and they talk to you as if you're know, a friend. Hey, what can I do for you today, Andy? Everyone's serving you. Everyone's guiding you. Everyone's teaching you. They're excellent at addressing what your needs are, including physical, emotional, any type of wellness need. You're never doing the same thing in the same day. I mean, we're in the pool one minute. We're in the gym one minute. We're doing aerobics the next minute. One of the things they do well at Mavara is get you outside, get you hiking, it's not just in the gym. Everything that they do is for a purpose and a reason. The topography here in Southern Utah is unlike any other. You're not just on the Red Rock, you're not just here. There's different places you can go within 20 minutes. People with PhDs are coming to speak with you. A lot of classes on spirituality, stress, and then, you know, you get to mealtime and you're thinking, okay, what is, what is the food gonna be like here? And you're like, yeah, you know, it's, I know it's supposed to be fitness. And then the food is great. Not bad on focusing on the food so much. It's so good. Most people generally come to me saying, wow, I can't believe I survived about 1,200 calories a day because it's healthy, it's real, it's whole foods. If you're putting that in your body, you're gonna stay full all day long. So basically, it's like being in a five-star resort where you're working out and you're being really kind of catered to every minute of the day. is top. So if someone were to say to me, come to our place, it's super relaxing and easy. We really try to make sure that everybody's totally okay the whole time they're with us, then you'd probably know that it's baloney and not worth the investment. It's push yourself to your limit. It's not everybody has to do the same movement or the same activity. What's beautiful is the hiking guides are spread out amongst the guests and you always have someone that's working at your level. So never do I feel like I'm holding people back. Our focus is more on interval-based training where someone that's more fit might do more work but whether we have the most fit person that's ever been to Movara or the least fit person, two individuals as a result will get the same workout based on their current fitness level. We have classes, they're 45 minutes a piece. They go back to back and we don't give you a lot of time because when we do, you crash. You know, Sharon is a great example of someone who is a motivator. She'll get in your face and say, come on, come on. Then she's immediately smiling and she's chuckling as she goes to the next person because she knows her job is to just take get that little bit more sweat out of you. You know, her famous phrase, what can you do in the next 30 seconds? I'll pass out. I feel like they believe in me and they want me to be successful. And while it was hard, I wouldn't trade any of it for anything. I run faster on the treadmill here than I've ever ran in my life. And I think it's the it's the believing in you, it's they know your name, they're calling out your name, they're sometimes yelling at you, but in a good way. It's really bizarre to think that you know you can come to a place, even for as little as one week, and feel like you're part of a family. And I think that's one of the embedded aspects of it, is everybody makes sure that they know who these people are that are coming from all over. That sense of community makes you want to keep going. It's a family, and they always say it is the Movara family, and it really does feel like that. It feels like they're here because they want you to be happier, and they know what it takes to be happier, and 
spiritual, physical, mental, whatever you want, there's someone here to help you along that path. We focus on a whole systems approach to health, fitness, weight loss. It's not just the physical exercise component. We focus on the mental and emotional health. We have our world-class lecturers that can help them with their emotional health and their mental health. Because while people come here and they'll lose weight here by following our program, if we don't do anything to uncover those underlying mental and emotional roadblocks, then once they leave, those guests are gonna be right back to where they started. The biggest challenge for me has been the emotional health part. I've always loved the role of being the caretaker. And somewhere in that role, I lost myself. When you lose yourself, you don't even realize you're doing it, but that piece has been the cornerstone of what I've had to do and learn to get growth in the other areas. With our education series and the availability of our life coaches and therapists and one-on-ones has really made a difference and an impact so that those guests can be more successful in taking the program home with them. It is an approach to overall wellness, not just weight loss. Maybe they're coming and they've been through a really hard thing. They come here and they can forget all that. And we take them out on the trails. And one thing that I have told our guests is, come out and, and holler to the coyotes. This is a great place to get stuff out. So as far as emotionally and mentally, physically, it all comes out on the trail. It's a very general healing environment. It's not about fitness, although it is. Today we did Pinnacle. I was thinking of my kids. Wouldn't they think it's great if they saw dad up here? Do I want to be the dad who's just fumbling around downstairs at the bottom and didn't want to take the opportunity to try to go higher? But I want to be the dad that shows her kids, you can do hard stuff and it's difficult. And maybe, you know, you need a little help, a little encouragement at times, but you can do it. And that's what I want my kids to see. I want to see that dad can do hard stuff so they can do hard stuff. If we're trying to make changes out of fear or obligation, it doesn't work. When we make changes and we, our actions come from love, then results can happen. At the beginning of the week, I can't do this. I can't do this. I don't know if I can do this. And yet at the end of the week, that's the feedback we get every single time is, I did more than I thought I could. Where before they felt frustrated, they leave feeling like it's possible, that they're capable. Even after just a few days, or especially by the end of the week, they leave with results, but most importantly, they leave with hope.